Welcome to episode four of season two, Canvas Killer Critiques. I'm Canvas, and today we're going to be talking about, hmm, I'm going to hesitate to say a friend. Well, I, this, this is an associate as of right now. I haven't met this artist in person yet, um, though we've had our work shown amongst, um, alongside each other. I'd say maybe three times to, to this point. And I believe I was first introduced to this artist through a mentor and a friend of mine, Doji of the Kente Royal Gallery in Harlem. Go check it out. And, you know, I've been in uh, a couple more shows with this artist that I'm speaking of uh, by the name of Demarcus McGaughy. And I'm going to read a bit of his bio that I found going through his Instagram. So I'm, I'm going to include all of that inside of the description of this video so you can check him out on your own time. And so uh, it says, with more than 20 years of experience, Demarcus McGaughy is a skilled creative director, graphic designer, and artist. His design expertise ranges from print designs to corporate identity to interactive media development and beyond. A 10 year resident of Brooklyn, New York, Mr. McGaughy hails from Dallas, Texas, where he launched in-house media group. Word. Finger snaps, hand claps, you know what I'm saying, for black business and entrepreneurship, and especially for artists, you know what I'm saying? So we're about to look at a piece of his that I, I enjoy and I got the chance to see in person, uh, it was one of the shows where we were showcasing together. And the name of this piece is Elements of Dopeness. You'll see why. <laughs> yeah, first we got to give it up for the gold that's used in the background. Right. That then accentuates the gold hair. And then this yellow ochre goldish hue. And, or this tint that's used in, in some of the highlights of the face. You know, what it is I enjoy about this piece is shout out to, you know, shout out to Auntie's bone structure. The, the bone structure in her face definitely affords for a lot of, of movement as you're looking through the face and you're able to pick out the, the variations in, in shape and, and how one color is fading into the next like right here along the cheekbones as that's coming up to accentuate the the size of the lip there's a lot of dipping uh into really deep uh like kind of like this umber brown color that's forming the the shadows that are along her face and underneath her hat around her eyes and it creates a nice scale of the you know the the black skin tone and then you know she got the the burgundy lips you feel me like she might have been, been sipping wine at whatever event she at you know um there's already signs that the whole outfit is fire just based on the hat how it's tilted based on the the, the earring that we can see and it's so color coordinated, you know what I'm saying? Like her aura could be very much the background with this, uh, the, the gold leaf aesthetic that's behind her that really serves to accentuate the, the bold color choices in her wearing all white and her hair being dyed blonde and all of that being laid atop such this, this golden, uh, hue of, of a skin tone. And, Yeah, there's a lot of brown that you see cycle throughout each part of the face. I enjoy that there, there are minor tint variations between the brown that's in the eye uh, versus the brown that covers the forehead and right underneath the eye, you know, versus the brown that is helping the red that's inside of the lipstick uh, versus the brown that is underneath the chin, right? And, and accentuating um, 
these indentions uh, within the, the neck and the throat. And yeah, yo, it's definitely giving me like a brown sugar vibe. She looked mad sweet. You know what I'm saying? She, of course, as we can see, she fly. She is certainly photogenic. And so it just gives you all the, the elements of dopeness that really uh, make the, the title make sense, you know, um, with what we're given in in this cropped uh, framework of this painting, we can assume a lot of dope things about this young lady, you know, and um, that just really speaks to how DeMarcus executed the reference image that he used. Yeah. Yeah, one thing. This is uh this is something that I'm I'm noticing after having looked at looked at this painting quite a, a bit of times is I I appreciate what I'm assuming to be a, a visual representation if you will of of part of a process that I personally experience when I'm creating portraits, which is shaping the face much like you would have to do when you're sculpting, right? And there's this part to the right of the lips, this curvature right um, underneath or right beside the cheek that's going down into the chin. There's this double suggestion, if you will. There's a suggestion of the outline of the face being the shading that's happening in this dark brown, this dark umber color, right? And then the suggestion that this lighter tone that's riding the very outside of this shape is the outside of the face. And so it, 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 it allows for you to treat both these variations, one being this lighter skin tone that's on the outermost part of the cheek, and then also refer to this darker uh, shade that is, I'm assuming, meant to accentuate uh, the furthest uh, point that is, is turned away from uh from the camera or from the vantage point like both the both of these hard lines can be read as the um the outline of the face oh lord <laughs> and so yeah yo i i do and i enjoy parts of art that allow me to see into what what is potentially the the process of creating the portrait Right. And um, again, this is just something that as a painter that I notice, not certain as, you know, what um, that part means for the artist, um, you know, and, and all in all, very, very, very beautiful piece. I love how these bold colors are able to stand next to each other and one accentuate the other without there being any appreciation lost for each color. You know, they, they each stand on their own. They each have, mm. yeah, they, they each have their own, like their own character in the painting. The hat speaks, the hair speaks, uh, the earring speaks. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Yo, so again, this is Demarcus McGaughy hailing from Dallas, uh, Dallas, Texas, serving this beautiful painting. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, elements of dopeness. And go to this brother's page, check him out, uh, support his artwork, give him a follow, uh, share the art that you enjoy with people who you know love art. You know, share it with your mom, share it with your cousins. And, um, Get his work more familiarized with people that you know will appreciate it. Uh, that's all we could ever ask for as artists. 
Demarcus, thank you for what it is that you do. Thank you for your expression and your contributions to the art world. As for my viewers, thank you so much. Um, please subscribe if you have not already. I am certain this is my first time bringing that up. And this is episode four. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, like this video, share this video. And thank you again for pulling up. And we will see you next week for Canvas Killer Critiques.